So, my period just started. As promised, I'm going to be trying a menstrual cup for the first time. And this is it. It came in a pack of two. And so is a, is a I'm going to say a medium and a small because it's only two sizes. So this is one size. Hmm, that's a bigger one. And this is the other size. This is a smaller one. I don't really have very heavy periods anymore, so I'm going to start with the smaller one. I don't have a lot of period anymore, so let's see. It is now, what's the time, what's the time? I'll show you the time in the next video, damn it, I can't find nothing with the time on it. But, here goes nothing. Menstrual cup for the first time. I'll let you know when it's it. Okay, so... I washed the cup. I just use regular soap and water and I wash it. So the instructions are to squeeze it together. This will cooperate like so. Yeah, this look a little bigger than I keep thinking. I wonder if they know that they have small spaces. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna squeeze it together like so and here goes nothing. Ha 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 ha. I'm not going to show you that part. Ah. Hmm. That was easier than I thought. When it's in, menstrual cup, take one. Let's see how it works out. I'll report to you in about, say, uh, let me tell you what time it is now. It is just after 7 o'clock, so I think I'm going to give it about 3 hours and then take it out and see. Wish me luck. Hi. So, updates. I promised you updates. Alright, a couple of things. Thing number one. It's very comfortable. The period cup, or oh, you're just joining me. I'm using a menstrual cup for the first time. So, thing number one is it's very comfortable. I can easily forget that I have it here. I don't feel any discomfort at all. Um... I'm usually when I'm home and I have my period, I don't wear anything at all, I don't wear a pallet or anything at all. I just kind of hold it and then when I'm ready to use the bathroom, I just let it out. Yeah, my Kegel game is up like that. Mm -hmm. Do your Kegel exercises, ladies. So, that's usually what I do. So, I kind of miss that. I miss the ability to control my flow. But outside of that, um, I really don't feel any different. I don't even feel like, I don't feel it at all. So, it's very comfortable. Thing number one. Thing number two, boy, it's hard to come out. Jesus Christ. If you're squeamish, a menstrual cup is going to be challenging for you because you really got to get up in there. You got to you gotta use, because I, I first I use this thing to, to kind of find it and then I have to kind of find because there's a little, oh, where's the other one? Let me show you. There is a little sort of handle that you have to grab onto to, to pull it out. So you're gonna get you're, you're gonna mess up your hand like this little this little this little part here this oh it's very very important <laughs> this little part because I kind of have to feel for this little part and then I grip it and then I, and then I, and then I, and then I pull it out like so so it's not easy to get out and you're gonna get your hands messy so just remember that the other thing is I can see how this might be problematic in a public bathroom. Because now you have this little cup and it have blood in it and your hand have blood on it. I mean, now you're going to leave the stall and go to the sink. That's going to be hard to maneuver in a public bathroom. But the good news is that um, I had it on for three hours. And in the three hours, well, like I told you guys before, I don't really flow very, very heavy anymore. But in the three hours, I maybe got like, like up to here, like maybe okay maybe this much where my finger where, where this finger is maybe this much blood in it in the three hours which is not much it's like it could hold easily four times the amount so obviously i could have worn it longer so maybe that's the thing i can just wait until i get to a bathroom that's convenient for me to change it and all of that mm -hmm. yeah i put it back in i wanna i wanna actually go through my entire cycle 
using the period cup just to kind of you know see how it feels i know it will get easier you know getting it in and out as i use it i think also that i'm gonna need lube putting it in i think that might be a little bit more comfortable because that second time when i took it out and i emptied it and i washed it and i had to put it in again it was harder to put in than it was the first time but maybe the first time was a little bit turned on you know me i'm always feeling a little bit frisky but you know the second time i wasn't feeling frisky so i could have used a little lube to get it in so i think i'm gonna do that next time you know just a little bit of comfort level I maybe mean, it's just me that's just a me thing um but yeah i'm gonna try this right throughout this cycle and see how it feels but so far it has its pluses and its and its challenges let me put it like that menstrual cup i'll keep you posted yeah so people guess what happened all right this menstrual cup business <laughs> usually when i use a public bathroom i'm a real ninja right so so to admit it yeah so i'm a real ninja right so i usually are if i'm able to go in there and don't touch a thing i don't sit on the seat i do the balance thing i try not to touch anything <laughs> But I had to do something about this cup because I've been around around all day and I had to empty the cup. Jesus Christ. Remember I told y'all it might be challenging. I underestimated how challenging it was. Good things I me mean, one at the bathroom. Jeez, I'm cream. Up. I had to wipe up and clean up and rub down and I made quite a mess. Whew. The saga continues. So, it's been a very, very trying day <laughs> i never spent so much time trying to find decent bathrooms around kingston in my life <laughs> so i made it through this menstrual cup thing it's a lot of work i find myself looking for bathrooms where i'm comfortable trying to make sure that i can change and get my hands washed and you know feel feel a little you know but um i survived it was a trying day i must tell you because i was very very busy i was up and down i had a, a lot of stuff to do but um i made it it's a, it, what i realized about using the cup um in comparison to using pads which is a normal use pads the cup takes a lot of attention i spent a lot of time today paying attention to where I am, I'm looking around, I'm making sure that, okay, so there's a good good enough, clean enough bathroom where I'm going to feel comfortable going in there. Um, I still haven't filled up the, the, the cup itself in terms of flow, so that's I think that's maybe a good thing. It could handle a heavy flow, though. Like, for the persons who are concerned about having a heavy, heavy flow and using the cup, it could definitely handle a heavy flow because there was a moment today where I was just, not in a position to go to the bathroom i was looking at the time i was like okay where am i and whatever and you know you know when you feel that that whoosh you feel like you know something's coming down I actually did feel that and um, i was sure that the cup would spill and by the time i got to um emptying the cup which was maybe an hour later everything was fine it was like halfway up and everything was so what I've learned today about using the cup on the road is that um, finding somewhere where I'm comfortable to change it is, is a challenge. Um, that's one. And two, it doesn't work well in those bathrooms. You know, you have to learn how to be a ninja. You have to know if you, if you squat and how to, you know, stand up that way and don't touch nothing. And the place not really so nice, but, you know, nature calls, so you have to answer. So those type of situations are going to be very difficult to maneuver with the cup. But generally, um, you should be able to get around. I was very cognizant of it because um, I, kept, I kept on thinking about the amount of time that's passing. Is it spilling? I didn't have any issues at all with spilling today, I must tell you. I didn't have any, any, any messes. I didn't leave any spots anywhere. So that part of it is pretty solid. So it's just a function of finding a clean enough bathroom, I guess. Saga continue.